It's the cutest little sweeper. <laughs> Well, good morning, family. We've actually all been up a little early, except for Reagan. She's still in uh, sleepy time land. I came out here a little earlier to find my wife and my son. My son's been sleeping out here because he has no bed. There's no room for him in his room. Uh, when I tried to talk to her earlier, she said, I'm like, what? I don't understand. I'm going to take a shower. I came back out and she informed me that she had her mouth full of oil. Coconut oil. <laughs> Coconut oil. For what reason? I've started oil pulling in the morning. Oil pulling. You can probably find that on the Googles. I have never heard of it in my life, but next time on P. Joshy B, <laughs> we're gonna talk about proper use of leeches <laughs> for like mental cognitive issues or no, something. when you oil pull, you put coconut oil in your mouth and you keep it in for 20 minutes and your blood circulates in your mouth. 90% of stuff is absorbed in your mouth. And okay, next it time. Pulls out the toxins. Next time leeches. Nice, anyway, I'm headed off to work. This Pastor Les and I just got done doing prayer, obviously, this morning, and then had a really good conversation about some church-related things. It was good. However, now it is time to get ready for tonight, which I am looking forward to. And I got myself the cutest little piece of lasagna. Look how cute that is. Hold on. There we go. Look how cute that is. Yes. <laughs> we had some leftover lasagna, so it's in the uh, office fridge, and I thought, you know, you know what sounds good for breakfast? Carbs. <laughs> in the form of pasta and cheese. Breakfast of champions right there, people. Seriously, of champions. Anybody else eat lasagna for uh, breakfast? Because I'm all about that if there's the availability. Okay, I just showed you a cute little piece of lasagna, but I think I found something even cuter. Look at that cute little guy. I have never seen that before. That's so cute. It's so little. Oh, it's so cute. It is so cute. I've never seen one of those coming up this road before. It does look pretty new. It's the cutest little sweeper. <laughs> I just would fear that, man, those little wheels, you go off the curb on that side, you're gonna tip that whole thing right into the street. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna get to work. You guys can go ahead and check out what my family's doing. Peace. Well, we have had an absolutely lovely day around here. Javen did a little school this morning. Reagan has been writing history papers all day. We just got done with lunch. Uh, I got a lot of cleaning done, including going through my bathroom cabinets, which I've been wanting to do for a while and haven't done. I have not gone through my bathroom drawers yet. Reagan has two drawers and I have two drawers, so that's only half the work. Where did, where did I get two drawers? You have the one where your toothbrush is in. That's not mine. That I, keep my I never even in. open that drawer. I just keep my toothbrush nope. in it. That's your drawer and the <laughs> one with the hair that. stuff. Yes, mm -hmm. that's your drawer. And you always put your stuff in my drawer. All I put is my actual makeup bag. I took out my contacts out of there. Mm -hmm. She has two drawers. I have two drawers. Mm -hmm. I mean, she has to clean. <laughs> and oh, I have to clean. I have two drawers. Yeah, and I have to clean two drawers. But my cabinets, all my hair stuff, we have enough shampoo to last a long time. Oh, there's Reyna. She's bringing my keys back. The other day when I couldn't find my keys at the end of Summit, I thought, oh, I bet they're in Reyna's uh, car, in Reyna's truck. Thanks, girlfriend. Reyna came to bring my keys that she stole. Yep. I mean that actually, <laughs> I left. We wanted to prank you guys, but I said you have the ring thing, so. Oh, oh we, we do. Door, we have a we have, we a have it in the back door. too. We have the ring light. It's yeah. like because somebody broke yeah. into our shed, so. Um, yeah. He wanted to fill your home with balloons. Oh. Like, legit. That would be awesome. Oh. Yeah. Like, yeah. I wish we yeah. didn't have that. Someone that just got married that I saw, someone they went in and covered their apartment with streamers, but they were like. 
It was like toilet paper, not pretty. <laughs> and they came home and were like, oh, Please. thanks. Please. We've been visiting with Raina. Anyways, we're heading to Dr. Eby to get the old neck cracked, but he is much better this afternoon. So I'm very grateful that we went yesterday because otherwise he would have still been a mess. Oh, wow. This display is so lit. It's very bright on my face. <laughs> Everything's just going very well today because Decker spends half his time helping with the adults uh. and the other half helping with the youth. Uh. And so uh. sometimes I come in here and he's already up here so I don't have to do it. And it makes me very happy, Decker. Right. Very happy. Very happy, yes indeed. Very happy indeed. Execute order working. 66. <sighs> of course it's not. Sorry, Pastor Josh. What is wrong with the interwebs? Well, that's a bummer. Is that why we're listening to weird music on your phone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have to forego the internet tonight, Decker. Uh, okay. Unfortunately. Sounds, sounds good to me. No internet? <laughs> we're getting Spanish worship and... <laughs> Sounds like a plan. That's pretty much it. Some weird, noise! Some weird electronic dance music too, probably. Beautiful. Okay, that's a wrap on this series actually, and I think it went quite well. Talked about how important it is to forgive others concerning our relationship with God, and also the, the steps that we need to take to have reconciliation between us and others that may have offended us, or that we may have offended ourselves. It was a good night, and I'm just waiting on the kids, which is odd because they're usually out before we are. They must be running a little late tonight. I am in the van first. What did you guys learn about tonight? How to chase Arturo for a Rice Krispie. <laughs> How to chase Arturo for a Rice Krispie. Yes, we're getting it. We all wanted to trade, but he said no. Bye-bye. Make wise choices. Love God, love people. It was a good Wednesday. All around great Wednesday and I just wanted to stop in and say thank you guys so much for watching liking sh sharing subscribing commenting all those wonderful things that make you a little more wonderful yourself and we will see you guys tomorrow bye love God love people